ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Western Racing. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Series 1 of the Hot Wheels Skate and Car Series. I'd like to call out at Mattel, whoever came up with the packaging designs for these, you are an evil, evil person because good God, you could not have made these more terrible to display. But anyway, that's what we're gonna be doing today. As you could tell by the intro is we're gonna be taking a look at this really cool uh, series dedicated to the skate vehicles here today. So basically, Hot Wheels Skate is a series dedicated to Hot Wheels and Tony Hawk themed skateboards, like tech decks, but they're Hot Wheels brand. Um, and they figured the best way to do this was to do, you know, Hot Wheels themed ones to make their, well, Mattel obviously wanted to make a tech deck brand, or a tech deck like kind of brand, but Hot Wheels related. So this is what they came up with. And it's a pretty cool idea. I almost started collecting them until I realized that that was a ginormous waste of money because there's a lot and I don't know how to finger skateboard, nor do I know how to display these. So as a result, I gave up on collecting the actual skateboards. And if I ever get my eBay store going, I will be selling like 11 of them, one of which is a chase piece because I'm just not gonna open them. I'll sell them in package and just get rid of them because I have no use for them. However. These, on the other hand, I'm gonna keep the skateboards for because these actually come with a Hot Wheels car. And it reminds me of when they did the Monster Jam duos where you got the monster truck with the matching Hot Wheels car. This is kind of the same thing, but you get a Hot Wheels car with a matching skateboard and uh, finger shoes. And I'll explain how the finger shoes work later. Anyway, instead of, sh no, no, no. Instead of staring at this uh, uh, mess that I have here because all of my stuff fell over after I uh, got done with the intro, I am going to pick these up and get them out of the way so that way we can make the video here today. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think this is all of series one. Series one, I do believe, well, that's not good. Series one, I do believe is a total of eight cars and skateboards, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna be taking a look at eight different things today. I do believe, if I am not mistaken, that is the entirety of series one. There are some card backs to these that make me question it though. Like for example, the uh, card back for the Gazella GT has a bunch of cars on it that aren't a part of this series. It's confusing, but I think going off of the uh, serial numbers on the backs of these, I'm pretty dang sure I've got this right. So if not, then uh, I'll see you guys in the next video because I'm pretty sure I'm only, I think I'm missing the Rip Rod from series two and then I'll have that entire series completed and then we'll do a video on it. But anyway, that's what we're gonna start with today is this series. I'm really excited. This is gonna be a lot of fun. But anyway, let's just get started, shall we? Because it's gonna take me forever to figure out how to open these anyways. So rather than wasting time, let's get into it. So the first one we're gonna look at here today is, I don't know if these have names. I don't know if any of these skateboards have names because all of the skateboard designs the Hot Wheels does have names. These don't appear to have names, so. I guess we're just gonna have to work with what we got here. We'll name them as we go. We'll name the skateboards as we go. They probably do have names and I could probably Google them real quick, which I am going to do. But uh, I'm gonna come up with uh, names for them. And then as I do the, uh, I'll do like a turntable for them. And uh, you guys will see what the names of the skateboards are. But anyway, here we go. This is the first one we're gonna look at here in the series. And it is Baja Truck with the skateboard We'll call this skate, well, I'll, I'll name them after we get them out of the package. Anyway, so the first one here is the Baja Truck Pack. And uh, yeah, I would argue that this one is probably my second to least favorite. My least favorite is probably the Gazella GT one just because of the paint job. It looks really goofy, but uh, yeah, I don't know how you open these. I'll just, we'll come down here from this bottom part and open them that way. I'm pretty sure these, oh yeah, okay, so uh, keep in mind as you're unboxing these that these skateboards have real grit on them and you will grind the tips of your fingers off. Or, you know, your fingernail will just take the grit off of the skateboard. That sucks. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I have never, ever been good at tech decking or whatever they, whatever you want to call it. So these little rubber shoes are actually to help with that though. So what you do is you take this little part off of your rubber shoe 
and you come over here and you latch it to your skateboard like this. These are quite possibly the greatest invention ever. I do want to say that. Come and latch them to your little skateboard like this. Stick your fingers in there and now you can do as many tricks as you want because they are quite literally stuck to your bulbous fingers. So, well, it's I'm trying to get it stuck to my fingers. But yeah, so basically that's what you do is you stick your fingers in the little shoes and then you can do your little skateboard tricks like this. Yeah, um, so that's pretty cool. Also, I like that they're numbered on the bottom so you actually know, you know, which shoe goes with what. I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're numbered on the inside too. That's smart, just in case if you can't tell left from right. Uh, so, yeah, that's a skill issue. Anyways, I'm not really going to spend too much time talking about the uh, shoes and the boards and whatnot. Sure, I'll give them the little, like, finger test run so that way you guys can see my absolute lack of ability when it comes to uh, skate finger skateboarding. But yeah, so there you go. So we got the little shoes here that look like that. They have the 68s on the side with the black laces. That's pretty cool. We'll add these to the little pile over here. And the skateboard here is pretty cool. As you can see, it has Tony Hawk's signature on the top with the Hot Wheels, <sighs> with the Hot Wheels logo. Let's hope that didn't absolutely damage it. It didn't, thank God. So that's pretty cool. More Hot Wheels logo there. You got some white, uh, we got the white tires here with the chalk. I like that they put in these little rubber, little rubber squishy things for suspension. That's really cool. And then here's the paint design for it. We got this really metallic red. A little chicken still in the shell. Tony Hawk, Hot Wheels. So that's pretty cool. I think we're going to call this skateboard uh, Egghead. Sure. The, we'll call this board Egghead. How cool is that? All right. Let's get that out of the way. We'll name the name the skateboards as we go. I think that'll be fun. You know, this is a little fun, fun way to get you guys engaged with the video here, just to see what kind of goofy names I come up with for the skateboards, right? All righty. And then I don't keep the plastics, but I do keep the card backs. And then here we go. Here is the Hot Wheels car. This is the Baja truck. This is my, this is my area. I know Hot Wheels cars. I don't know tech decks. Here we go. So we got a red body, a black chassis, black tires with yellow rims and no window inserts, which is really interesting. I don't know if there's supposed to be a window insert or not. Side panel says Tony Hawk on it. We got a number one up here with the Hot Wheels logo right here. Got our little friend Egghead back at it again with a black and yellow stripe behind him. Flip it over to the other side. There's not much to see because it is the same thing but mirrored. Over on the hood, we got Egghead back at it again with a red Hot Wheels logo and a number one right there. The hood is blacked out. And Tony Hawk on the sun visor right there. My light is not in an opportune spot for this, I just noticed. And then on the back, you can see all of the radi uh, radiator uh, airflow equipment back here. I have a paint chip on the one fender flare right there, which is not nice. Headache rack and all that jazz back there. This is a Baja truck after all. And that is what it is meant to do is be fast, loud, and get over sand dunes quickly. So there you go, everybody. That is the first set of stuff right there. Hopefully we can get a better flow going through this video or else this thing is going to be an hour long. But anyway, that is Baja truck. Let's take a look at the turntable for the Baja truck. Next up is Bone Shaker. You do not know how long it took me to find this thing. Are you kidding me? I had to go to a Target in Billings, Montana. And this, I'm not even joking. This car has been out for, you know, a long time. Go to a Target in Billings, Montana, like seven months after I collected the rest of this series. And I finally found this Bone Shaker. This thing had been taunting me for almost an entire year. That's how long it took me to find it. But now I've got it and that's all that matters. So let's get her open. That opened really easily. That's nice. I like it when they open easily. I always say that with the monster trucks. It's always nice when stuff opens easily. Oh my God, right off the bat. Look at this. The skateboard on this one is really freaking cool. Look at that. So is the back. All right, let's get into reviewing the skateboard first, shall we? So the grit on the top has the Hot Wheels logo with teeth in it, which looks absolutely freaking awesome. I love that design. God, that's cool. We got red tires. And then the board uh, itself says Hot Wheels in this really cool comic text. We got this really nice metallic dark blue 
the Hot Wheels logo in pink there. And in the background, we have this really awesome deep sea angler fish on the bottom. I think we're going to call this uh, skateboard right here. I think we'll just call it angler because that is that is really cool. This might uh, this thing might take the cake as my favorite skateboard of the video. I've seen what the other ones look like. I haven't seen them out of package, but this one might be my favorite because that is just awesome. So there you go, guys. That is the skateboard. Let's take a look at the shoes. Just see what they look. Oh, I got to pull the skateboard back out anyways because I want to do a want to do a really cool skateboard trick for you. So here are the shoes. These don't look like tennis shoes. These look like uh, Vans or the little slip-on guys. Nice little dark turquoise color. We got a pink uh, piece here with a pink Hot Wheels logo as well. Here, let's take a look at the car, which I'm sure is what everybody here really cares about instead of the skateboards, but the skateboards are still interesting, right? So there we go, that is the car. I have been getting some pretty cool bone shakers recently in these videos. You guys remember when I did the mystery cars a while back? That, that bone shaker was awesome. Now we're taking a look at this one here. So we got this really cool metallic aquamarine color or whatever color I said earlier. Black tires, white rims, sorry, red tires, white rims, black chassis, no window inserts. The side panel, as you can see, says Hot Wheels on it with that comic text. And we got the mouth of the angler once again, open wide. You can see all that color there with the eyeball there as well. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. The roof has the Hot Wheels logo in white and has that same angler on it, which looks absolutely amazing. You can see all the hardware of the bone shaker as well. Nothing on the back. And of course, here is the bottom for everyone who cares. So there you go, everybody. That is our second set of stuff right there. The bone shaker uh, skateboard collection, I think is what we're Next one's pretty interesting. This is actually my first ever casting of this Hot Wheels car. I do not own this Hot Wheels car in any shape or form across my entire collection. So this is gonna be really cool. This is Rig Storm. So I am really, like I said, really excited to look at this one simply because I do not have this Hot Wheels car. Well, that came off really easy. Holy crap, that's, I'm not gonna lie. That made my heart jump. I almost screamed. <laughs> that was terrible. All right. So, like we always do, let's start with the skateboard. Um, I'm noticing that the Bone Shaker one had custom grit to it. I wonder if these, none of, not all of these have custom grit to it, but some of them do. I don't even know if it's called grit or not. I'm just, I just made that term up because it's, it's gritty, like sandpaper is. You can hear it. Uh, that's probably dead skin cells you're seeing being scraped on right there. Uh, Tony Hawk Hot Wheels right there. Really cool. And then here is the bottom for this one. This one is really freaking cool. Also, I want to, oops, sorry, it's upside down. I want to make it very clear. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but only the skateboards in this collection have metallic uh, paint schemes on the bottom. The other ones have matte paint jobs. Only the car collection ones have metallic paint jobs. So that is really cool. So we got this really cool dark blue color with this uh, raggedy tree in the background. Tony Hawk in red vampire text right there. And we've got this really cool vampire bat on the bottom with the moon. And it says Hot Wheels Skate on the bottom right there. I don't know. The angler one still I think is my favorite, but this thing is really close. I'm going to name this one uh, Count, Count Dragula. You know, like when you drag the back of the skateboard. I think I'm going to call this one Count Dragula for the name. That and Dragula was the name of that one really good Rob Zombie song. So, you know, you know where my priorities are at. Anyway, here are the shoes. These I don't think these shoes match this at all. So we've got these cyan colored shoes with a green Hot Wheels logo and orange laces. And now for the Hot Wheels car. And I'm really going to put a lot of detail into this review for the Hot Wheels car. Because, so like, you know, like I said... I don't have this Hot Wheels car anywhere in my collection. Also, I forgot to mention, did you guys know that this is my final unboxing and review for 2023? So that alone makes this video special. So I need to make sure it's good. All right, here we go. Here is Rig Storm. We got a dark blue body, black chassis, orange tires with silver rims and red window inserts. The side panel features that old raggedy tree. We got the vampire bat right here with the... Uh, the moon right there white hot wheels logo tony hawk in orange this time with the tree really cool flip it over to the other side same thing but mirrored this is really cool that it's almost like a futuristic semi 
actually I'm now noticing the uh, the one semi truck that we reviewed in the uh, last Hot Wheels video looks a lot like this. And I don't know, I can't even remember. It wasn't District Transport. What was the name of that semi truck? I mean, oh, it's right here. It's called Drives and Wild. I've actually got the plastic or the piece, the plastic or the packaging off of it. Look at Drive and Wild and Rig Storm here. They look very, very similar. I would actually argue that they're pretty much the same vehicle in a way. So that is interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, the hood says Tony Hawk on it. And we got a cyan and black stripe that carries all the way up. Nothing on there. Nothing on the back. Let's take a look at the bottom. And there you go, everybody. That is Rig Storm, our third vehicle for today's The symmetry of this vehicle, this next one, is enough to make me cry. I cannot express how much joy I feel to open this one. This is the Cruise Bruiser, which is my all-time favorite Hot Wheels car. But not only that, it is in black and red, which are the channel colors. It's like this was meant to be. This and... The freaking paint job on this kicks butt. This is just all around amazing. Hot Wheels, you knocked it out of the park with this one. But that basically pretty much kills my chances of ever getting to a point where we get a Weston Racing themed Cruise Bruiser because we practically already did. So if they do a Weston Racing themed Cruise Bruiser, it's just probably gonna look like this. So sorry, Weston Racing fans, all 300 of you. That's not happening. <laughs> All right, here we go. So let's start with the skateboard here. Uh, same grit as last time. We got the Hot Wheels or the Hot Wheels Tony Hawk thing there. Not pretty, not that impressive. This time though, our design is actually sideways. We've got this metallic black background, Tony Hawk right there, Hot Wheels skate. And then we have a vulture skeleton here, which looks absolutely awesome. I think I'm gonna call this one the scavenger. I think that's a cool name for this one. We got white wheels, by the way, too. I forgot to mention on the last one, we got orange wheels. But yeah, so there you go. That is our skateboard. We'll call it the Scavenger. I think that's an awesome name for a skateboard. And then the shoes, we have, uh, you know how funny it would have been if my shoes in real life would have matched these? My shoes in real life have black bottoms and they're all red on the top with black laces. That would have been really funny. Actually, that would have been super creepy, honestly, if that would have happened. But you know what? That still would have been great. Uh, so we got a black shoe, red Hot Wheels logo, and a red top as well. I am would not be surprised if I have owned a pair of shoes in my life that look like these. Now on to the fun part, which is the Hot Wheels car. My favorite Hot Wheels car of all time. In case you can't tell, I'm sh well, you wouldn't be able to tell, but I am shaking. I am shaking and crying, RN. This is going to be awesome. I can't, I've got the skateboard stacked over here so that way I can review the cars and whatnot, but they're falling, up, falling, they're all falling. All right, they all fell down. Let me just... I'm gonna lay these, I'm laying the skateboards to rest, people. This is not going well. And then what we'll do is we'll, okay. And I'm back. All right, here we go. The Cruise Bruiser. Black body, red chassis, black tires with white rims and no window inserts. Everybody knows the Cruise Bruiser. It is the classic demolition derby SUV. This thing is amazing. We've got Tony Hawk written on the side. The Vulture Skeleton with that glowing red eye and the Hot Wheels logo. Flip it over to the other side, we got the same thing. This is probably the first Cruise Bruiser I own that has a uh, matte paint job. It doesn't have a clear coat on it. So this is feels weird, feels very weird actually. Hot Wheels logo on the hood and the Tony Hawk with the Vulture on the roof. And one of my favorite details about the Cruise Bruiser that it has a ship's anchor in the back for weight. That is the greatest detail ever, I love that. And then here is the bottom of the Cruise Bruiser for everyone who cares. But anyway, there you go, everyone. That is our fourth vehicle. We are now halfway through the video. Let's get on to the next one, which is arguably my least favorite one in this entire set. So we'll get through it. Next 
Next up is the Gazella GT is the name of this set. And I will, I'll be completely honest, this might be the first uh, one that we're gonna look at today where the shoes are actually probably don't, all right, I'm lying. I was gonna say, I feel like the shoes really don't match this one, but then I just remembered the ones from the Rig Storm set really didn't work at all. So maybe this is the one, maybe these ones match in a weird way. I don't know. We're about to find out. So let's get the, let's get that stupid piece of cardboard out of here. There's the car. Let me pop them shoes out real quick. Get that out of there. And then there is the, the skateboard. All righty. So we'll start with the skateboard here. Ooh, we got a customized grit. We got a Hot Wheels logo with this really cool like slashing effect through it. That's really neat. And then here is the skateboard itself. We got this really cool cyan uh, metallic going on. Hot Wheels logo and a red paint splatter with the Hot Wheels in yellow. And then we got white paint splatters everywhere with the Hot Wheels treasure hunt symbol on there. This is not a treasure hunt, by the way. I want to make that very clear. This, this, none of this is a treasure hunt. They just put this symbol on here because they can. Orange tires, by the way. One detail I will say is really interesting about this is that the paint splatters look really cool. And I really do think that the, the skateboard itself looks awesome, but the car really doesn't match. I feel like the skateboard, I feel like in this instance, the skateboard might actually be the better of the two, car versus skateboard. The skateboard might be better here. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna call this skateboard splatter time uh, in reference to the Hot Wheels monster truck of the same name namesake wise because the actual monster truck is based off of the concept of bug guts splattered on a window so yeah anyway that's the skateboard i'm gonna quit rambling the shoes here as you can see have blue tips orange hot wheels logo and or er, sorry yellow hot wheels logo and then the orange hw for hot wheels nothing on the other side let's get onto the car here which is the gazella gt a casting that i'm not exactly a huge fan of but i know some people are so We'll give him give them that honor. So here you go, everybody. The Gazella GT. We got a light, light blue paint job, white chassis, black tires with bronze rims, and this yellow window insert right here. Very aerodynamic car. And this also has a moving part as well. This little red piece up here, this little red spoiler, does actually move. You can snap it down to make the car more aerodynamic on straightaways. Snap it up to make it more aerodynamic on inclines. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to snap it down. I always snap them down. But anyway, as you can see, we've got a Hot Wheels logo here with some white paint splatters. Same thing on this side, but mirrored. The hood has the same Hot Wheels logo with the treasure hunt symbol right here in white with some white paint splatters. And then there are some yellow paint splatters as well. Nothing on the back. Here's the bottom. And there you go. That is the Gazella GT. This one right here just screams weird in my opinion. I, there's something about this one that doesn't make any sense to me and I don't know what it is, but yes. Next up we have Nitro Tailgater, which is the SUV version of the famous Nitro Door Slammer. So this is pretty cool to see. Um, the skateboard on this one, I'm not even gonna joke around, is actually pretty cool because it is just straight up chrome, but it's not reflective chrome, which is a good thing because then it would show my face and I don't want you guys to see my face yet. So 2024, I uh, plan on doing some stuff that actually has me in it. So that'll be fun. A little bit of a teaser for what I got planned next year. Of course, I'm not gonna do a full on face reveal. It's just gonna have me in it. Oops, almost threw the shoe into the recycling pile. That wouldn't have been fun, but I'm having to hunt that down later. Okay, get that stuff out of the way. Let's start with the skateboard here. Ooh, we got a customized grid again with a Hot Wheels logo, nice and like dashed up and whatnot. Looks really cool. And then look at this. Try not to go blind with the rainbows. Now we know what Skittles meant when they said taste the rainbow. Holy crap. Hot Wheels logo is 68 up there in black. And then we got a Hot Wheels logo with a helmet with the, uh, I just realized this is not centered on the skateboard. The helmet isn't. It's not centered. Speed Club on the bottom. Remember everybody wear a helmet. And then we got the treasure hunt logo right there. So that's really cool. I really do like the bottom of that skateboard. Here are the shoes. This time we have a blue 68 on the side. 1968 was the year Hot Wheels was created. And then we got blue laces as well. Now that we got that all the way, all out of the way, here is Nitro Tailgater, right? 
Yeah, I thought it was Nitro Door Slammer. I got him confused. White body. We got this really cool uh, dark, dark, really dark gray, almost like a black chassis. Blue tires with white rims, and then we got blacked out window inserts, smoked window inserts rather. The side panel features the helmet with the Treasure Hunt logo. Speed climb. Again, this is not a rare vehicle. It does have the Treasure Hunt logo, but it is not a Treasure Hunt. We've got the uh, tail lights there, Hot Wheels logo with the 68, and this really cool blue pinstriping. This side's exactly the same, but mirrored. And if we flip up onto the hood, we got a checkered flag with a Hot Wheels uh, words written like that. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but the Nitro uh, Nitro Tailgator here has six seats on the inside of it, three, two rows of three. Yes, the front row has three seats in it. It's pretty interesting. And then the back end has the spoiler, the air or the parachute, and the wheelie bar back there as well. It is a drag racing vehicle. And there you go, Nitro Tailgator, everybody. So that is it for the Nitro Tailgator one. We got two more to go. another one I thought would be pretty cool to look at. This is the Maximum Leeway set here. And one, Maximum Leeway, Leeway is one of my favorite castings because it is a pro stock uh, dirt oval car. And I love dirt oval cars. I think they're cool. And then on top of that, this one's cheeseburger themed. If you remember to my, not, I'm not even joking, my third video that I ever put up on this channel, I said little 11 year old me, not 11. I think I was, how old was I? Not 11. I was not definitely not 11. I might have been a 13, 14 year old me said that I am a huge fan of cheeseburgers. And that is still true. They are my favorite food. And so the fact that this one is cheeseburger themed is quite possibly the greatest thing ever. And I cannot wait to get this out of the package. The skateboard wins for best skateboard, in my opinion. I don't even have to get it open. And I'm already just going to say that right now because come on, it's a freaking cheeseburger with legs and eyes. Why would you not love that? You must be out of your mind. Do we get, oh, we got a custom uh, grit on the skateboard as well that I noticed. It's called grit, right? It's like sandpaper. It's, it's called grit. Or the deck. No. What's the sandy? It's the sandpaper part on the, on the top side of the deck. It's called a grit, right? I'm pretty sure it's called a grit. I know nothing about skateboard or, or skateboards. Why am I acting like I know stuff? <laughs> Please, guys, save me in the comments. For the love of God. <laughs> Tell me, what is it called? All right. Also, I want to ask a question in the comments. Are you watching this video because you're a fan of Hot Wheels cars or because you're a fan of tech decks? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious uh, who is on, who is from what part of the YouTube thing here. But anyway, here is the skateboard. The grit is awesome. Oh no, that's not centered, is it? That's a misprint. What do you bet that's a Tampa slide? We got a Hot Wheels logo made of bones. What do you bet that's supposed to be slid up? Ooh, that's not good. Um... Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I doubt it though. Here's the bottom side of the skateboard though, which looks absolutely amazing. We got a Hot Wheels logo. We got a, almost looks like a Qbert speech bubble up there with the skull and the exclamation points. And then we have our cheese burger. Kind of reminds me of the cheese spiders from the second Cloudy of a Chance Meatballs movie, which I very much bet is what they got inspiration from. But you got the little avocado slices for the eyebrows. Get your little pickle slices for the eyes. And then all around, just a really cool little cheeseburger monster. Love it. Okay, kitty. You can have cheeseburger. All right. And then for the shoe, we got a green shoe, orange laces, orange Hot Wheels logo, and the Hot Wheels letters in white. Here is Maximum Leeway. I love the way this thing looks. The paint job on this is probably the most in-depth paint job we're going to get on any of these vehicles, except for the, the bone shaker. That bone shaker is pretty awesome. But anyway... Here we have the Maximum Leeway, our classic dirt track car. We got a yellow body, a chrome chassis, black tires with white rims and no window inserts. We got a 22 on the back, Hot Wheels logo right there with black, uh, with a black inside, yellow letters and a orange outline. We got the cheeseburger right here. Looks really cool. Oh, I didn't name the skateboard. I think we're gonna, what should I name the skate the skateboard? I'm thinking something like hot and beefy. Hot and beefy is what we'll name the skateboard. Heck yeah. I didn't name the nitro. Okay, I didn't name this skateboard either. I'm going to call this one Rainbow Blast. <laughs> Could have called it Rainbow Dash after the My Little Pony character. That would have been funny. I think we'll keep it as Rainbow Blast though. 
I like that. Name it after the Spin Master Monster Jam truck. Um, but yeah, so this one's pretty cool. I love the little Z there in black. You got the air vent on the side right there. Same thing on this side, but mirrored. The hood, we got the Hot Wheels logo here, the 22, and then we got these really cool orange lightning bolts with the black stripe down the center. And then the top has this really cool design with almost like claw marks and our cheese spider friend. Really, really cool. I am a huge fan of this one right here. Maximum leeway. Let's get to the turntable for the fun. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, our final set right here with the Hot Wheels Rapid Response. I'm pretty sure is what the name of this ambulance. Yep, Hot Wheels Rapid Response right here. Our final one we got left. Let's just get right into it, you know? I already have got a name for the skateboard. It's not anything special, but I think it'll... I think it's pretty good. I think it fits the theme that the skateboard's going after. That's strange. The plastic peel. I've never seen that before. All right, let's get all this stuff off of here. Uh, we'll put the cardboard up here. All righty, so let's start with the skateboard here. The grit on the top is just the Hot Wheels Tony Hawk. And then on the bottom side, we have this really cool metallic pink, Tony Hawk, Hot Wheels Skate. And then we've got this black cat right here, looking pretty feral. And I think that's what I'm gonna name this one. I think I'm gonna call it the feral, the feral, uh, the feral barreler. You know how you like barreling in at somebody or going at them really fast? We're gonna call this the feral barreler. The feral, the feral terror. Anyway, uh, the shoes we got here are pink with a blue Hot Wheels logo and the yellow uh, laces. Kickflip. This might be the most insane thing I've ever done. Okay, that was amazing. I really don't know how to do any of this. Can I do three fingers? Get my thumb in here. Anyway, moving on to the car, we've got the Hot Wheels Rapid Response here in pink, which is really, really cool. We've got, a pink, like I said, pink body, a, a light blue chassis, white tires with black rims and yellow window inserts. We've got the black cat on the side as well with the fuel tank right there. Hot Wheels Tony Hawk. Same thing on this side, but mirrored. And then on the hood, we have the cat Tony Hawk in yellow. Then the Hot Wheels logo right there. And like usual, it is an ambulance. However, it is really hard to see the internals of the ambulance this time around, which is weird. There's the bottom, and there you go. That is the final car for today's video. Let's get to the turntable, and then we'll bring just the cars back out for the end sequence. Actually, I might bring out the skateboards too. go i managed to bring out the skateboards too so that is it that is all eight of the hot wheels cars and skateboard sets we're going to look at in today's video going from left to right for the hot wheels cars we have baja truck bone shaker rig storm cruise bruiser gazella gt nitro tailgater maximum leeway and hot wheels rapid response and then going left to right for the skateboards by the names that I gave them, not by the actual names of them. We have Egghead, Angler, Count Dragula, Scavenger, Splatter Time, Rainbow Blast, uh, Hot and Beefy, and the Feral, t the Feral Terror, I think is what I named all of them. Editor, did I get that correct? Okay, good. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what you said. Anyway, <laughs> that's it. That's all I got for today's video. That is the final unboxing for 2023. You hear that music in the background of the video? You saw that intro at the beginning of the video? Did you see all of the, the way that this video was edited? I just want you all to know that in the next unboxing video, all of that is changing. Every single piece of it. 
the structure of this video is going to be so different next time around. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a sneak peek right now. You know how we went from intro to, or we went from like verbal intro to audio or to the actual channel intro. Then we did unboxing review turntable, unboxing review turntable. Well, in 2024, the way I've got the video set up is that we're gonna do the video intro. Then I'm going to actually introduce myself and the stuff we're going to look at. And then it's the whole thing. It's gonna be the every unboxed item. And then at the end, I'm going to do a compilation of everything on the turntable. So rather than doing the turntable after each one, it's gonna be all of them on the turntable at the end of the video. And then we'll do the outro kind of thing. That's what I've got planned anyways. And like I said, the intro is gonna be different because next year, ladies and gentlemen, 2024 is the fifth anniversary of Weston Racing. In, I think it's April, no joke, I think it's April 1st, which is my dad's birthday, ironically. April 1st, 2024 will mark five years of Weston Racing on YouTube. I have been doing this for five years. I cannot believe it, that is insane. I, the time has really flown by. That is shocking. Anyway, yeah. Thank you all for five years. It's been fun. It really has. I'm not going anywhere, by the way. I want to make that very clear. I, everybody just collectively said, like, oh, I thought we were going to get rid of them. Uh, no, I'm sticking around. And uh, yeah, like I said, we have got some pretty cool stuff planned for the future. I'm even going to give you a teaser of the first two videos of 2024 because I am so nice. Alrighty, everybody, since you know it's my fifth anniversary and I'm feeling jealous, here's your first two videos of 2024 teaser right there. That's what we're going to start the year off with. So there you go. Now you now you got now, you know, ahead of time. The uh, the monster truck that I just showed you there will be the first video of 2024, which means it will be the next unboxing following this one. So, uh, yeah may seem like a long ways away, believe it or not, but it's actually literally just going to be a week after this video is when that one comes out. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next year. <laughs> Peace out.